In this tutorial series, we will replicate the game World War Z in Unity. This will be a really in-depth tutorial series in which we will cover everything like the player movement system, the UI, the multiple weapons, different weapons will have different damages, uh, we should be able to switch between the weapons and the enemy AI, the UI, the health, the enemy health, their health and the animations and all that good stuff. So we will cover everything uh, and we're gonna make it everything from scratch. This is the third part of the tutorial series in which we will learn how to make the aiming system so that when we hold the right click, the camera zooms in and we can go into the aiming uh, animation. In the end of the video, we will be able to make this. So this is what we left in the previous video. We were able to make the uh, the movement system as well as the vaulting system so that we can move around or run around and also vault over the boxes kind of like this so this is what we made in the previous video and if you have missed the previous video the part one and part two because in the part one we made the movement system and in the part two we were able to make the vaulting system so if you have missed these two parts then make sure you see these two parts first because otherwise you won't be able to understand what is happening in this video anyways let's get started so for the aiming of course we need some kind of an animation for the player to play when he goes in the aiming uh, aiming mode right so here i have the animations that we used in the previous video idle jog uh, vault run and uh, vault and all that so now we have these two animations more one is the aiming idle which looks something like this like he is holding the gun and then there's aiming walk so he is aiming as well as walking now if you don't know how to get these animations you can basically go to mixmo.com and find these animations over here and you can also upload your character over here to rig it uh, so that it is you know able to be animated so you can upload your character in here rig the character real quick i have this guy wolverine over here by the way <laughs> and yeah so now we can go to here and say rifle animation and we can find loads and loads of animations over here i just used one which is this one you can simply go ahead and download it over here so this is the aiming idle animation you can download it over here and just simply drag it inside of unity and there is also one aiming walk which is this one i used these two and just simply dragged it inside of unity over here and then make sure you go to each of the animations go to rig and set them to humanoid this is really important and then go to the animations if it is loop animation like this idle one is loop you have to click this guy this guy and this guy and also the same goes over here go to rig humanoid make sure it is loop and this guy and this guy these are clicked so he's walking and all that good now we can go to the player animator controller this is the one that we made idle walk run and vault now we are going to add this guy which is the stand aim idle so i'm gonna just simply delete this part and then this part so this is aim idle and then this is aim walk now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did over here so this is the idle and this is walk and this is uh, gonna be the exact same thing that we're gonna do with these two guys so we made these two transitions from idle to walk and walk to idle and there was a condition that over here if magnitude is greater than 0.1 and if magnitude is less than point then i'm gonna explain it right now real quick first you have to make the transition from idle to walk and from walk to idle real quick that and then we a added a float variable over here so you can just click over here and say float and i called that magnitude now when the float var value of the magnitude is greater than 0.1 like that we're gonna go to the walk and when it is less than 0.1 magnitude is less than 0.1 we're gonna come back to the idle now if i set this to default state for now you don't have to do it i'm gonna just do it for you guys to see what is happening over here if i do that you will see he goes to the uh, idle animation that one he is playing that idle animation if i click that there we go and if i uh, make the value of magnitude from zero to one he is gonna go to the walk animation there we go no okay you will see that he will do the idle animation just like that all right and if i press w a s d he will move uh, with the walk animation just like that because we already have made the system that whenever we press the WASD, the value of magnitude changes from 0 to 1, right? 
just like that so he's gonna move with the idle animation just like that good one thing if i release the wsd right now you can see the whole animation completes and then we're gonna go to the idle animation same goes if i press w right now the value has changed to one but this uh, uh, this animation will complete and then we're gonna go to the walk animation that is not what we want so if i come to this transition and say has exit time to false this will fix the problem okay we're gonna set this back to the default state because we don't want the animation to be default state we're gonna go ahead and make a transition from idle to uh, aim idle walk to aim idle and run to aim idle okay and I'm gonna bring it somewhere over here so that we can see the uh, transitions and we're gonna go ahead and make a boolean and we're gonna call this aim so whenever this boolean is true we're gonna come in this state alright so we're gonna go ahead and say if aim is true and as is the time is false same goes over here aim is true as is the time false aim is true as is the time is false now when we play the game you will see that we're gonna do the normal animations until we set this this guy to true so we are doing the idle animation right now as you can see we can walk around run around and if I set this to true we are going to this animation and now we can walk around with the aiming animation simple as that as you can see the gun has positioned wrongly we are gonna do uh, we are gonna fix that also but if I set this to false we are not gonna come back out of it because we don't have any uh, any transition to come out of it so in order to do that we're gonna go ahead and make a transition back to idle back to walk and back to run and we're gonna go ahead and say has exit time is false and whenever the magnitude is greater than 0.1 uh, if it is less than 0.1 which means we are not pressing WASD we're gonna come back to the idle if the magnitude is greater than 0.1 it means we are pressing WASD we're gonna come over here of course also we are going to add the aim is false condition all right so if aim is false and magnitude is less than 0.1 which means we are not pressing WSD and also the aiming is false we're gonna come back to the idle animation and if we are if the aim is false and we are pressing WSD we're gonna come back to the walk animation and if uh, if aim is false and also mm, the run is true we are gonna come to the run as the time is false and just in case we're gonna go ahead and add another condition that run is false okay so when run is false magnitude is greater than 0.1 which means we are pressing WSD and also aim is false we're gonna come back to the walk and yeah simple as that no big rocket science okay now uh, of course we will have to make a transition from walk to all of these guys same thing nothing much just make a transition from walk to walk walk to idle and walk to run and do the same exact thing again so if aim is false and magnitude is less than 0.1 then go to idle if and there should have been some kind of a thing that we can copy the conditions and paste them over here but now so if aim is false and magnitude is greater than 0.1 we're gonna come over here and if aim is false if magnitude is uh, no if run is true we're gonna go to the run and of course add another condition over here when run is true or false yeah when run is false we're gonna come back to the walk good now we have all of this tree going on with complicated arrows here and there <laughs> uh, but believe me it's not that difficult at all so we have the animation set now the only thing that we need to do is we need to control this aim true and false through code and we need to make this true and false whenever we hold the right click or not right so we're gonna go to the player and say playmaker fsm edit if you don't know what this thing is then it means you haven't seen my previous video all of this that you have just seen over here i made this in front of you guys without writing a single line of code now this is playmaker if you don't know what playmaker is playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code if you uh, you can just simply get it if uh, you can buy it from asset store but if you don't want to buy it or you think yeah, uh, you cannot afford it then you can simply download it for free I will personally provide it to you guys for free the link will be in the description box below and but I recommend you guys to check it out and then also buy it because it will help the developers who develop this really awesome a asset uh, so yeah buy it uh, with that said let's go ahead and so do some aiming so this is what we made in the previous video so this all of all of this is vaulting and this is idle and walk and this is run all right now we want to go ahead and add some aiming so we're gonna put this vaulting 
state right over here and we're gonna make a new state control click over here and this will be the aiming aiming there we go now we're gonna go back come back to the idle and I'm gonna close everything and I'm gonna say get button down or get mouse button down get mouse button down which means simply when you hold a button and we're gonna go ahead and say right click because basically this is for the aiming and we're gonna go ahead and send an event and I'm gonna call this one aim simple as that we're gonna right click over here say add transition aim and we're gonna come over here basically it means whenever we hold the right click we're gonna con come in here same goes from the for the running so copy this and paste it over here and make a transition aim bam now you can play it and test it out uh, if I play it and test it out real quick to show you guys uh, when we hold the right click we're gonna come back to the uh, come come to the aiming so bam we are in aiming good now we are, of course are stuck in this aiming uh, state because we don't have any transition to come out so we're gonna go ahead and say get button up uh, get mouse button up basically it means when you release a button the right click of course and we're gonna come back to the we're gonna go back to the walk simple as that now when aiming we of course want to go ahead and set this variable to true which is aiming so we're gonna go ahead and say set animator float uh, set animator bool sorry set animator bool and the bool which we want to set is uh, aim and we're gonna set this to true right here and in case just copy this guy and paste it in idle and set this to false and in run we also gonna set this to false because we don't want to aim while we are running and walking right so simple as that now if I play the game you should be able to do the aiming animation and walk around of course no no we cannot walk around we can just we can just do the walking animation but we cannot move our character with WASD as well as uh, yeah and also you can see the, the the weapon is not positioned correctly however if I release the right click we're gonna come back to the walking animation simple as that there we go cool awesome now we're gonna come back in here and this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the player and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say copy this get vector and uh, get access vector basically we are doing the exact same thing that we did for idle and walk we basically are doing the same thing for the aiming uh, just with different animation so I'm gonna come in here copy this get access vector copy the set animator float uh, smooth look at direction these three things I'm gonna copy them and then simply paste them in here so basically what we are doing is we are getting if the player is w uh, if press if the player is pressing w a s d basically the horizontal vertical and we are going to store the uh, direction in a variable called vector input vector and we're going to store the magnitude in input magnitude and then we're going to go ahead and set the value of this magnitude equal to this magnitude <laughs> uh, and then also we're going to say uh, the the player should rotate towards the direction in which we are pressing the buttons so basically we are doing the exact same thing that we did in the first part of the video again i'm saying if you haven't seen the first part of the tutorial series first and second part then make sure you see them that will really help you out uh, so if i play the game right now we should walk around run around we should go in the aiming animation and we should be able to look around and we can yeah do that kind of stuff nice now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and position this 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 rifle basically the fix for this is actual fix for this is the ik system but that requires a whole lot of coding and it's really time consuming so the simple hack around it is really simple you can simply make two rifles and you can enable and disable two rifles according to when you are in the aiming and not aiming what i mean by that is i'm gonna go ahead and rename this to this rifle to right oops this rifle to rifle normal which will be in the normal case like when he is not aiming there we go and i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this guy simple as that and rename this to rifle aim and this one will be for the aiming and one thing i did is uh yeah let, let me just go ahead and disable the rifle normal for now and play the game and go into the aiming animation by holding the right click and then I'm gonna simply pause the game from here just like that and now we're gonna go ahead and select the rifle aim and position it like we want simple as that so now he's holding the rifle properly 
Now if I play the game you will see that uh, he is holding the rifle properly while he is in the idle, right? But when he walks his, his left hand moves downwards like that. That is not what we want. So I'm gonna go back, pause the game and this time I'm gonna go ahead and go to spline left shoulder and I'm gonna set this rifle to pair into the left hand instead of the right hand. So I'm gonna simply go ahead and drag it inside of the left hand. I'm gonna go ahead and now position this properly simple like that oops there we go now if I play the game you will see that he is holding the rifle properly even if we are in the idle and if we walk he is still holding the rifle properly good this is what we want right so awesome he is holding the rifle properly while he is walking and also while he is idling so now we're gonna pause the game we're gonna select the rifle aim and copy the component uh, the transform component get out of the game view drag the rifle aim inside of the left hand paste the component values oops paste the component values there we go now we have basically two rifles one is a rifle aim one is rifle normal now we're gonna disable the rifle aim whenever we are in the not aiming state so we're gonna go to the player say edit and we're gonna go to the start state which is this one and I'm gonna go ahead and say set or activate sorry activate game object activate game object and I'm gonna go ahead and copy uh, or simply say specify the game object and specify the game object to be the rifle aim and deactivate it and I'm gonna copy and paste it and this time I'm gonna drag in the rifle normal and I'm gonna activate it simple as that I'm gonna copy these two copy put them in the running and paste them in here simple as that and in the aiming I'm gonna also paste them but this time I'm gonna invert it what I mean by that is I'm gonna paste it and I'm gonna activate the rifle aim and deactivate the rifle normal simple as that now if you play the game you will see that when we play the game this guy will be disabled this guy will be enabled just like that and if I go ahead and go to the aiming animation he switches to the aiming rifle and we cannot basically see the difference right cool so we are switching between two weapons without doing any IK stuff uh, and yeah really really awesome now we can again come out of the game uh, come in here and go to the rifle aim and position it properly like I'm gonna rotate it like that and move it in a little bit and I'm gonna copy the component and see if it is okay or not there you go now it looks good now it looks good I'm gonna come out of the game view and paste the component values the transform values to the aim paste component values there we go now the second thing that we want is we want to uh, move in the camera we want to zoom in the camera into the player so how do we do that in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead and select the camera base in the camera base I have the main camera this is what we made in the first part so I'm gonna go ahead and select the main camera and uh, make an empty game object and I'm gonna drag this empty game object out and I'm gonna call this one normal position of the camera so normal position so as you can see if I enable the gizmos you can see the game object the normal position game object is right where the camera is this basically will uh, tell us the normal position of the camera in the normal state and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select uh, or just play the game and we're gonna position the camera that like we want when we are aiming and this is not what we want uh, unity just crashed Shit. and then we can simply play the game and select the main camera and position it like we want when we go into the aiming aiming animation so I'm gonna go ahead and hold right click and then I'm gonna come in here just like that and then come over here and uh, like here and click over here just like that okay now I'm gonna go ahead and select the main camera and drag it in bring it in just like that and you have to basically position it like you want when you uh, are in the aiming anime aiming uh, position so I think this looks good this looks good I'm gonna so maybe move it in and do that just like that so this is how your you your uh, 
system will look when you're in aiming then we're gonna go ahead and copy the component of the camera copy the component the transform come out of here and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a, another empty game object right inside of the camera and bring it out and I'm gonna paste the component values so it comes right where we want the camera to be and this time I'm gonna call this one aim position just like that okay so now we have the normal position and the aim position the main camera right now is in the normal position as you can see uh, and then we want to move it in the aim position when we are in the aiming mode so we're gonna go to the player and say edit and when we are in the aiming mode what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say move towards move towards this one and then we're gonna go ahead and specify the game object that will be the main camera and we're gonna move it towards the aiming position just like that and then I'm gonna copy this guy paste this guy in here in the idle and drag in the normal position over here and make sure the finish distance is zero that is really important make sure the finish distance is zero okay and copy this guy again and paste it in the run just like that and now if you play the game we should be able to move the camera uh, zoom in the camera uh, whenever we are in the aiming position so I'm over here and if I there we go and there we go cool and we can also walk around but one thing that I'm looking right now over here is that when I rotate the camera we want this guy to rotate as well in the direction of the camera because this is what we want in the aiming right so this is not he is doing so we have to also rotate this guy in the direction of the camera in order to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the camera and this time I'm gonna go ahead and make another empty aim object inside of the camera and we're gonna go ahead and say look at aim so this is the look at aim and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring this guy forward in front of the player so this will be the game object that the player will look at while we are in the aiming so this will be right in front of the camera so if I do that so that we can look at the gizmos so it is right in front of the camera and this is where the the player will look at uh, while he's in the aiming so we're gonna go back to the player and say uh, smooth look at direction no uh, smooth look at there we go and we don't want the entire player to look at that game object so we only want the spine uh, this this spine to look at that direction so this this thing so we are gonna make this guy look at that thing so we are gonna go ahead and drag and so specify the game object that we want to look at specify the game object to the spine and we want the spine to always look at the the one that we made right here or in here look at aim so we're gonna simply drag it in here we don't want it to be key vertical which means we want it to m rotate in every direction uh, and we're gonna set the speed to 10 there we go and yeah there we go now I'm gonna save it play the game and see what happens so we zoom in and he looks up like that however I can move uh, I can look down I can look up I can look left I can look down and if I press back he moves back if I press s he moves that in direction and that direction so everything basically is properly working however he is looking in that direction that is not what we want so I'm gonna go ahead and simply pause the game by control shift P there we go control shift P and now I'm gonna come back again and this time I'm gonna look up a little bit and click over here so that no click over here no not click over here just like that so we are over here and then we should be able now you can see his spine uh, if I come out over here his spine is rotated like that <laughs> but uh, we don't care about that because uh, it's all the because we cannot see the spine over here right so this looks bad but yeah we are not using any IK so that is good good news so I'm gonna go ahead and select the look at aim and we can now reposition it uh, I don't yeah, I'm gonna come back in here and now I'm gonna play the game again so that he is facing in that direction that will be easier for us I'm gonna go ahead and do that and click over here bam click over here bam okay I'm gonna come over here and okay and I'm gonna select look at aim now we can bring this down a little bit and as you can see he is looking up and down with that 
and we can also bring it over here somewhere and you can basically position it like you want when you want the aim where you want the aim to be and we can also take the aim position and bring it down a little bit maybe I don't know okay now it looks good to me he is aiming uh, in the right direction so as you can see we can look around and, and the aim he is aiming properly then that is pretty cool he can also walk around with the aim and he can stop Bam. and he is looking up and down that is pretty cool uh, however I think the your gun is rotated uh, is rotated in that direction that is not what we want so we're gonna go ahead and bring the look at aim down a little bit and then also mo move it in that direction there we go like that so as you can see he is looking in that direction right now we can also take the aiming and move it uh, moving left and right uh, again but this is not uh, but this time we're gonna only move the look at aim I'm gonna go ahead and I think it looks good I'm gonna copy the component get out the game view select it and paste the component values and I'm gonna play the game again and this time we're gonna change the aim positions uh, position but if I play the game right now you can see he is aiming properly he can we zoom in and we zoom in and he looks left and right up and down and we can also move around if I press S W A S D as you can see <laughs> look at look at over there uh, there, <laughs> there we go but we, we cannot see it in the game view so that is cool we are not using any AI K so that is also pretty cool we are ma we have made this without using an IK so bam we can come out and everything is proper there we go so uh, I am pretty satisfied with this how it looks and I don't think so that we have to do any tweaking at all so this is basically it this is how you make an aim on site animation so you can basically run around vault over things and then you can aim on site and do, 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 and do that and you can also walk around you can la move left and right and then vault over things again and in the future videos of course we will add a shooting system so that we can shoot around we will also add a cross here uh, in the center of the screen so that we can point and then we will also do some shooting mechanics reloading emanation and all that good stuff so if you want to learn that make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any future videos and if you want to get notified whenever i upload a video you can simply go ahead and uh, click the bell icon if you haven't seen the first two parts of the tutorial series you can see them the link will be in the description box below the full playlist will be in the description box below so this will be basically it for today hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video peace out